meeting of the Gibson City Council will now come to order, and the chair calls on the city clerk, Ivan Nelson, for the roll call. Councilman Harris? Here. Williams? Here. Councilman Avery is absent today. <coughs> Councilman Eccles? Here. Stewart? Here. Councilman Cannon is also absent today. Councilman Reed? Here. We do have a quorum present. The meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Jeremy Ward to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Lord, we thank you for the, the day that you've blessed us with. We thank you for the freedom to be able to gather and to, to uh, govern. God, I pray this morning that for our leaders that you would give them wisdom, that you would uplift them, and that you would give them right decisions to lead our city into the future. And God, we will give you the praise and the honor and the glory for it. For it's in thy name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chair, we entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and the city council meeting held on November the 20th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to approve minutes. Chair, we entertain a motion to ratify payment of the accounts for the week of November the 16th through the 22nd. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamations, I don't guess there are any. Unfinished business, we have none. Resolution authorizing grant agreement with Alabama Department of Transportation. This is a pass-through grant of federal funds for a van to be used to transport seniors or therapeutic patients. The total amount is 48,761650 dollars and the city's 20% match is 9,743.30. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. New business, is there any? <coughs> I know there is. Mr. Somebody President. speak up. Mr. President, I have uh, a resolution that I would like to ask the unanimous consent to consider today. It's a resolution authorizing satisfaction of a nuisance abatement lien on property located at 1413 Stroud Avenue by John James. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> yes, Mr. President, this is another example of a situation where the city has liens against property and a citizen has come forward to purchase that property to relieve us of the duties and responsibilities of maintaining that property. Any other discussion? <coughs> Clerk, you take the vote. <coughs> Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Any other? Yes, Mr. President, I have uh, actually three items, two of which I'll bring up uh, together uh, and, uh, and, and another one separately. I'd ask, like to ask for unanimous consent to consider these today. Second. Clerk, you take those in Those in favor to consider both ordinances, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I guess I better talk about what these are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> good idea. We all know what they are. <laughs> the audience does not. The uh, the first two are, are related to uh, the authorizing ones an ordinance authorizing acquisition of uh, air airport authority property in the amount of uh, two hundred seventy five thousand dollars. And the second is an ordinance um, <coughs> authorizing a budget amendment to reflect this. Um, Essentially, what the city has done at this point is, uh, in lieu of uh, including the airport authority in uh, in the budget for this year, uh, understanding and knowing that we would be very very much involved in, in our in it's needful that we uh, have an ownership interest in this property for future uh, industrial development uh, concerns. We're uh, we're we're again purchasing. Um, 
we're, uh, we're authorizing acquisition of this property and, uh, and of course, amending the budget to reflect the offset to uh, our allotment <coughs> for the airport authority. Any other? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt both the ordinances, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed, <laughs> motion carries to adopt. Any other? Yes, Mr. President. The next item uh, that I'd ask for uh, unanimous consent to consider today is a resolution authorizing agreement with uh, million, million for <coughs> GASB 45 uh, audit. Uh, I'd like to ask that we consider that today. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? Yes, sir. I'd like to apologize to Lisa and, and Milliman for butchering <laughs> that name there. Um, but uh, this is, again, for um, actuarial consulting. I think at every, on an every two-year cycle, we have a responsibility to, uh, to, to have our financials uh, assessed from an, act, from an actuarial firm. And as I understand it, this is the firm that's done the, the historic uh, audits for it. So, we're looking for some good results. We'll actually get a chance to see how some of the, the budgetary changes that we'll make, we've made will, uh, will impact. So um, we look forward to this one. You know, you might, you might say that as it is now, our future uh, indebtedness is over $100 million. So maybe some of those changes will reduce that figure, mm -hmm. I right. hope, drastically. <coughs> Is there any other discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? <laughs> Motion carries to adopt. Is there any other new business? Mr. President, just for a point of clarification on the previous items about the airport authority property, um, the uh, one to acquire the property should actually be a resolution, so we in fact have a resolution and an ordinance rather than two ordinances. Okay. okay. Okay, is there any other? New department reports, committees, boards, are there any? Remarks by the mayor and the council? Billy, you want to start? Yes, Mr. President, thank you. I have a I have read the article in uh, Sunday's paper <clears throat> concerning Gadsden State Community College uh, receiving a diversity award, and I would like to congratulate that establishment, that institution, for attaining that status. It is very critical that they understand the need and the, ne the necessity for having a diverse campus over there. And uh, I'd just like to congratulate them at this time, and I'd also like to say uh, <clears throat> there'll be more information and more topic and more concern and more interest in that topic uh, to come uh, at a later date. But I encourage us to follow the example of Gadsden State Community College and establish diversity here in the city, county, and state. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, and. Uh, to, to echo that sentiment, I'd like to congratulate Gadsden State on that distinction as well. Um, the only other item I have is in line with uh, the, the theme of diversity. Uh, there is a business mixer uh, that's being sponsored by the Chamber, uh, the Gadsden, uh, and, and a couple of other uh, lo private groups uh, here locally. I think Jake's Music Room and uh, Buffalo Rock and Supreme Beverage. Uh, there's a business mixer. Uh, primarily uh, designated for celebrating uh, minority uh, or celebrating diversity in business uh, that's going to be held on Thursday, November the 29th uh, at uh, 5.15, from 5.15 to 7 o'clock at Jake's Music Room. I uh, do want to encourage in particular minority businesses who uh, have an interest in networking and and, uh, and, and engaging other, other businesses, but uh, the business community as a whole, we encourage you to come out and, and support that. And I, she's going to kill me for saying this, but this is at some level the brainchild of uh, Commissioner Carolyn Parker. She uh, has seen this model successfully implemented in another city and, and uh, thought she'd bring it here. So, and I think it's a great idea. It's an opportunity to help uh, 
help grow the networking opportunities for some of our local businesses. So, again, that's going to be Thursday, November 29th at uh, 515 <coughs> at uh, Jake's Music Room. That's all I have. Bill. It's good to see uh, Commissioner Parker with us today. <laughs> she's, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, the only thing that, that I had a kind of a pet peeve is, is to see political signs long after the election mm -hmm. still around our city. <clears throat> so uh, please, if you, whether you won or lost, get your signs up and let's clean our city out. That's we all have, I have. We have some church signs out there. Don't get them mixed up. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, they won't, I don't think they'd mix them up with the church signs. Let's bring them to me. I use them for target practice. <laughs> Two or three of them. Uh, this morning I was going to, I read in the paper uh, yesterday, a day before yesterday, about the clubs. Uh, our dear club license that we, we put out to a couple of clubs and what's going on there, starting back again. Uh, assaulting our police <coughs> officers when they make calls. <coughs> so I'm going to ask uh, city clerk to uh, ask the police department for a report, and I'm going to give that next week and kind of revisit what's going on during the night and during the daytime at these clubs, just to just to get a good report on it. I noticed that same one. Yeah. In the paper. Yeah. I remember voting on that thing. I thought we were through with those things, but we're not. And. Uh, so it's continuing on, but I think if we bring a focus to it, maybe through a good report, that maybe we can uh, sidestep and uh, protect our citizens as well as our police officers. We're just sticking them in harm's way is what we're doing. Okay. Uh, next, this week we lost a 29-year veteran of the Gaston Police Department, Bucky Venn. I wanted everybody to know that the visitation is from 12 to 2 today. The funeral will be at 2 o'clock at Malone Baptist Church in Alabama City. Again, a 29-year veteran, Bucky Venn. That's all I have. Okay. If there's not anything else, I'll entertain a motion we adjourn. So I move. Motion is adjourned. <laughs>